Hey everybody, I have a really exciting video for you guys today. We're going to be doing another thrift with me. So the first footage I actually got is from back when I was in Michigan. I had to go home for a doctor's appointment, but I'm back in Chicago now and we're going to do some thrifting here. Um, that one's really short though, so let's go to that footage. <laughs> Okay, so I haven't gone anywhere yet in Chicago, but I'm gonna hit up my favorite places. And it is 60 degrees outside right now. Sunny and beautiful, can you tell? So I'm gonna put on a cuter outfit. And I did my makeup a little bit, and then I was getting ready to do my hair, because I normally always have to do my hair, and it looks like I've already done it. It looks really cute. I wasn't even going to talk about this in this video, it was supposed to go in a different one. I wanted to talk to you guys, I guess now, sooner than later, why not, you guys need this. So today I used my new pros set, it's not new actually, this is my second full set. I bought pros before they ever wanted to work with me, so thank you so much to pros for sponsoring this video. So this is my second full set, I have the shampoo, conditioner, and the pre-shampoo mask. If you guys have been following my channel for a while, you may have seen that I have previously bleached my hair platinum blonde and I'm still paying for it to this day. I have all of this breakage that used to be like an inch long and this is like a year of growth for me. My hair doesn't grow very fast which is unfortunate for the breakage but I can't just use whatever shampoo, conditioner, or hair product anymore. I need a specific hair product tailored to my hair, which is so damaged and dry, but still flat and greasy. Honestly, it's just the worst. Don't bleach your hair. And I feel like looking at it now, you can't even tell. My hair feels amazing. It looks shiny. It has volume again. I was most excited to try Pros because of the customization they do for you. You go online and you take a quiz talking about your hair type all the way to how much pollution is in the air of where you live, whether or not you have hard water, or so many factors that we don't think of that could also be affecting our hair and keeping it from being at the place we want it to be. So I was obsessed with that aspect and then getting a customized regimen for my hair and I know sometimes it's hard to think that a shampoo or a conditioner can do so much for your hair I know it was really hard for me to understand that and I wish I would have just listened to everybody sooner and put a little extra time and thought into the products I was using because honestly I think my hair would have made a big change a big difference well before now. With all of these, I only have to use one pump for the shampoo and conditioner, which is so not like me. I used to use like half a bottle of conditioner every time. I think what really helps my cut down on conditioner is the pre-shampoo mask. I use probably a quarter size amount of this, comes in a little jar, and I just put this on the lengths of my hair once it's wet in the shower, and then I'll go through, wash my body, shave, all those kind of things while this sits in my hair. And it just pre-softens and detangles my hair so when it does come time for the shampoo and conditioner, it doesn't feel like it's stripping or tangled or knotty where I used to with old shampoo and conditioners have to like douse my hair in the conditioner to be able to run a brush through it at the end. Pros also has a review and refine feature which I found really cool so at the end of the quiz it allows you to tweak your formula a little bit based on like your hair color address or diet so for mine I just made sure all of my products were vegan and then it pros has a flexible subscription service and as a member you'll have perks like discounts and free shipping on every subscription order schedule shipping for your products so you never run out complimentary products and a flexibility to refill or pause your subscription whenever you need so if you guys want to try out pros you can click the link in the description box or or go to try.pros.com slash Lainey to take a free in-depth hair quiz and get $10 off your first order. You can also get an additional 15% off when you join their membership program. Let's go to the thrift store. I hope you're not too distracted by my luscious hair. And can I actually look at the clothes? I know. 
Like, are you actually supposed to be able to drive to get your license? Because I can't. Who gave me my license? I'm calling corporate. Looks that bag you think we would have done some damage but we only spent only thirty dollars look at this you guys go to family thrift and on saturdays they have 50 percent off everything right now they have 50 percent off all of the winter clothes because they're just trying to get rid of them i've talked about like the depop thing before where where people say that like depop girls are ruining thrift stores because they're running out of clothes and have to increase their prices i have never ever 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 seen that happen and i've been to a lot of thrift stores i've been to both thrift stores in chicago like in the city and then also and this isn't like downtown this is you you'll know where it is if you look it up but then i've also been to thrift stores in like my suburban neighborhood and never have I seen a price increase in my five plus years shopping there. Yeah, just something to think about before you comment something mean on somebody's post. And then I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow for thrift store number two and the try on haul. I'm really excited to show you guys. I don't think you guys can hear Jackson right now, but I'm gonna go thrifting again today and we're gonna hit a different, different thrift stores. Um, just because I was really on the hunt for more chunky sweaters like this one. I wore this yesterday, and I want, like, a cream one like this um, just because I wear this one so much, and I think I'd really like it if I had a lighter color one. So we're on the lookout for this. This is thrifted from a while ago. I'm wearing my Princess Polly orange tint sunglasses. I love these so much. Also, second day hair, and it still looks good. Like, no grease. What the heck? These pants are amazing. They're from Bond Studio. And then I have my little tennis shoes. They're the New Balance 530s from Goat that I wear all the time. These pants have a matching top that's so cute, too. Let's go because I'm competing with Jackson right now. This full bag from Village Discount Outlet, which is right down the street from the family thrift I go to, that whole bag was $21. So I was gonna go to another thrift store after this, but I like there's nothing else that I want. I got everything that I wanted. When I go thrifting, it's normally because I'm looking for something. What I'll do is like if I have something I really want, like I really wanted that Matilda Jerf like two-piece pinstripe set. I'll hold off on buying it and I'll go check the thrift stores to see if I can find something similar and if I check eBay, Depop, uh, Poshmark, and thrift stores around me and I still can't find it, then I'll let myself buy something more expensive like that. J like on any website, you know, I'm, I mean not even like expensive or not because I would rather thrift for my closet but sometimes the thrift stores and online thrift just doesn't have it so you gotta cave. Shoot! Hand Sani, I forgot. It smells like, look. It smells like New Year's Day. If you know what I mean. <coughs> I actually gagged, sorry. Let's go home. I'm gonna wash everything, try everything on. My camera's over it, let's go. So sunny glasses. I'm gonna go through thrift haul just trying it on and then talking about it because it sometimes seems pointless to like hold it up and I don't know how it fits yet. First item, this is from Family Thrift and it very much could just be like a 70s costume, but I don't care because I love it. I think this is so cute, especially with my Jeffrey Campbell giant boots. And this was under $3, I know that. How freaking cute is this? Okay, next, this was such a freaking good find because these pants actually fit me, but this pantsuit together it was only $12. The brand's Jax. Holy guacamole, this is so freaking cute. I love that this is like 
fashionable now. How cute is this? Unbuttoned with just like a little white tank underneath or having it buttoned. This is so trendy and so cute. I washed the pants, but then the blazer I just left out on the balcony for the day, all day yesterday, because these you have to get dry cleaned. There's shoulder pads in it, but I love this with like the New Balances. So cute. These are my trousers from NNKD. I just wanted to put something basic on to try the tops on. This is another blazer. It's from Joseph's Abode. Abode. <laughs> And it's just this really pretty blue and like green striped blazer. I'm loving the blazers right now. Like I think this looks so cool as well, just the mismatch. I'm really liking plaid, fun colors. So this blazer in this blue color is so fun to me. And it's got like green. I don't know. I like it a lot. It was under five bucks. So definitely think I can make a lot of cute outfits with it. Okay, next little sweater I got. This one is from the brand Play Life. I just really liked the green color. Yeah, this is so cute. I think this, especially with like a, a white collared shirt underneath it, I'd really like that. And I think more so with like low rise jeans because I like the length of it. With this, it looks a little funny, but I think we'll be able to style this really cute. Okay, now we have the sweaters from today. This one is from Eddie Bauer, and the reason I wanted so many sweaters mostly is because I really like the style of like tying them over your shoulder over another sweater. And I know this is like spring, but for spring in Chicago and like Michigan, you're still wearing sweaters. You're not really getting away with short sleeves or dresses or those kind of things yet. So let's try this one on. Perfect. Like what more could you want? So here's one of the sweaters. And then I got this other one, and this one was $3. Like, how fun and preppy is that? There's a mirror over here, that's why I keep looking. But I love this. la di da di da la di da di da Okay, let's try this one on. And I'm just loving, oh, there's a giant hole in it. My bad. I didn't even notice. Oh, but I think this is so cute with this, like, color khaki and blue together. Like, I love this. My eyes twitching because I'm stressed. At least my hair looks good. Cute! I like this! Then I got this little cardigan and this was for a dollar. It's from Kenneth Roberts and you guys like this is just so good. This looks so expensive too. I'm sure it was. It's a really nice like chunky knit cardigan. But this one also tying around. Cute. Then we have this brown sweater that was three dollars. This one just reminded me a lot of the one that I was wearing today. What more could you want? I love this like how old sweaters have that tight and it like bags, you know what I mean? Like the waist is a lot tighter so it does that nice balloon effect. On the sleeves too, it's just really nice and there's like stitched plaid in it. I know I'm gonna wear this all the time. You may have already seen this in one of my videos now. Still haven't got feedback what you guys think about it. Not that I care what anyone else thinks <laughs> about what I like, but I'm excited to see what you guys have to say. So this is what I got in Michigan that first thrift store we went to. And <laughs> it's this old man's pajama set. And I love it. It is the softest thing in the world. It is so comfortable. I really do feel like I'm going to be wearing these little plaid sets in the summertime because they're just so airy. Immediately my temperature has gone down seven degrees. My poor plant. In my other video I like styled a little better with a hat and a purse so it doesn't look so much like pajamas. But I love this look so much. Totally inspired by Matilda Jerf. Okay, so this set from Michigan my like suburban um, thrift store. This was a dollar and 30 cents both together. And then this one today that I found was $6. So very much a big difference. This one's a long pant and a long sleeve, but I think I'm gonna cut these pants. No, I know I'm gonna cut these pants into shorts and hem them. I don't have my sewing machine here, it's in Michigan. So I'm gonna cut it raw hem and show you guys what it looks like. 
but <laughs> I love these. So these aren't hemmed yet. I'm gonna hem them probably like an inch or two shorter. So they'll probably hit like there. I don't even have pins to like hold it up and get the look. But guys, can you guys tell like what I'm going for? Does anyone see the vision? I'm loving these. I think I'm gonna be wearing them way too often. I think also like if you didn't want to look so dad, like the dad shoes are really taking it up a notch, but I like it. I think that this could be really cute with sandals. I want you guys to tell me that I'm losing my mind. It'll be like that. Oh, I am not doing this any justice. It's gonna be cute, you guys. It's gonna be cute. We're, we're gonna do it, okay? <laughs> we'll get it there. I think the other one's good, though. It, the other one, too, also has a lot less of a pajama plaid feel. This one feels like pajama plaid, if that makes sense, but just trust me, you guys. That's it for this video. So before we go, a couple videos ago, I did... I went to the thrift store and I thrifted this sweater vest. I'll try it on for you guys. Could you add a sweater vest to this? Oh, if she isn't selling it before, she's selling it now. Use this as slander. This sweater vest, I'm going to do a giveaway for it. So on my most recent Instagram post, just go comment that you want the sweater vest and I'll pick one of your comments at random and then I'll just ship this to you guys. Um, as a little giveaway for fun. Why not? It's really cute. I love it. So there's that. That's it for this video though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm trying to get better at thrifting and vlogging at the same time. Mostly just vlogging is what I'm bad at. You guys are trying and I hope you guys can see that. Remember to check out Pros with that link in the description box. Thank you again to Pros for sponsoring this video. Let's take one more look after my hair had been Excuse me, stuck in that for like an hour. And it still looks luscious and beautiful and long. I had to see if I was lying. I'm not lying, it still looks good. That's it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Check out my Instagram to win that set of vest. I love you so much. See you in a few days. Bye.